I'll write down the equation of the line L. That's this one here. Well, if you know y equals mx plus c, then you should be sorted. M is the gradient, and c is the y-intercept. Okay, I'll do that after I do it the other way. The other way is to actually think about some points. X, Y table as usual. If X is naught, Y was negative 3. If X is 1, Y was negative 1. If X is 1, no, X is 2 rather, that will be 1. X is 3, that will be 3. This goes up by 2 each time, so it adds 2. So my rule must be Y equals 2 X's. Let's just try it. two noughts and nothing. How do I get to negative three? Take away three. That's what it is. But the way to do it is the y equals mx plus c way it goes across one. What's it go up by? It goes up by two. So the gradient is two. So it equals y equals two x. Where's it cross the y axis? Right down here, which is negative three. That's where it comes. But you could try and do it, work it out by using that sort of pattern if you want to. The region R is defined by three inequalities. One of these is y is greater than or equal to zero. And that's the y value is greater than or equal to zero. It means it's above that line. It's got to be beneath L. So it's got to be less than or equal to L. And so I get y is less than or equal to 2x minus 3. And then finally, it's to the left of this line here. So I need to find out what the equation of that line is. If you don't know what it, do, it is, put your x, y coordinate in there, and you've got 3, naught, or this point here, which is 3, 1, or this point here, which is 3, 2. And basically, it's always, x is always 3. So that x equals 3 is that line. We want to the left of that line, so we want where x is lower than that, so x is less than or equal to 3. And that's question 11 done.